Here we go with the scrappy song. Are you ready? Sometime on a Sunday or any day, I know where I'll be. Watching my computer to see Scrappy TV. It's Scrappy Scrappy Church. Woo! Scrappy Scrappy Church. Woo! Scrappy Scrappy Church. Woo! We're God's family. Brilliant! What will we do this week? I'm sure it will be fun. With you and me and Jesus. So come on everyone. Two, three, four! Scrappy Scrappy Church. Woo! Scrappy Scrappy Church. To Scruffy Church TV. Great to see you. Welcome here to Bath for Scruffy Church TV, the specially Scruffy Church service for all ages. You are welcome. My name's Philip. I'm a vicar here in Bath. My wife Lizzie is behind the camera. She's filming. She really wants to be on Scruffy TV, but she can't because she's not Scruffy enough. She's far too glam. But she's a brilliant camera operator, so we're great that she's behind the camera today. You are welcome, whether you're watching from Bath or from somewhere else in England or somewhere in Britain or Europe or Australia. You are welcome to Scruffy Church TV. Now, we've got some shout outs. In Lewisham, Teddy, George and Ben are watching from the Rowe family. Hello to you. And they say, please, can you give a big shout out to our granny and granddad, Henny and Robin in Bath. So, Henny and Robin, a big shout out to you as well also in Bath. Here is a picture of Felix Vanni. Look at that amazing lion mask he made that last week with his brother Oscar when we when they were watching the from the Scruffy T Church TV about Daniel and he's giving a massive roar into that jug. Fantastic. Welcome to you two. And also remember last week we saw a picture of Livy's chalet at the bottom of her drive which she decorates and people walking past can see it. Well we showed the wrong one. We showed her Easter chalet this is her beach scene so Livy and it was her birthday this week so happy birthday to you Livy for this week watches with Roz and George her grandparents in Derby great to see you great to see you everyone as you know on Scruffy TV we need to get things now in our house we've been doing the Joe Wicks workout so my legs are a bit stiff oh, let's have a look at what we need for today it's the simplest that there's ever been on Scruffy TV. You need a cushion, you need a face, and you need some hands. That's all you need for today. Cushion, face, and hands. I'm sure you can get those really easily as we have Scruffy Church TV. Oh, I don't know why, but I'm just feeling especially excited about today. So we'll start with a prayer to give all of our time to God and ask God to bless us and our time together. Nice and still for a moment. Love it God, thank you for this wonderful time that we have together to have fun to do a bit of singing, to hear some stories, to pray, to be together where we're, we're together in the same house or united by your spirit, wherever we're watching from. Thank you for Scruffy TV and for this chance to learn more about your love. Amen. What's next? What do you think is next? It's the Scruffy song. Let's go over to the musical area and I was talking to a friend this week who is in a choir she loves music and she'd never watched Scruffy TV before and she said she couldn't get the song out of her head all week and I said job done let's see
Church TV, everybody! Fantastic! Right, we're going straight into our story. And I know why I'm excited, because for the first time, we're going to see the Scruffy Church TV Theatre, everybody! Now, as usual with Scruffy Church TV, it's not a story just for me, it's a story for all of us. So, let's get properly scruffy and I want you to do these things in the story. First of all, you have to laugh meanly. <laughs> Here you laugh meanly. <laughs> Brilliant. The next thing I want you to do is imagine you're walking through sand. Shuff, 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 shuff. Fantastic. Well done. And the next thing is you get your cushion and you're going to, it's a, it's a fight in the story, I'm afraid. And you're going to have to punch the cushion. Boof, like that. Try again. Boof. Boof, I left mine over there, but it's Scruffy TV, so it doesn't matter. So it's boof, ah, boof, ah. That's what you're going to be doing when we get to it. Now, we're gonna go outside, and I'm gonna put my hat on, because you always go out, put a hat on when you go outside, and we're going to see what's out here. Well, the first thing we're gonna see, some people have written in and said, Chucks, can we see your chickens again? Come on, Chucks, come on. Here they come, look, there's Pablo. He's our cockerel. Come on, Chucks. Chucks. Here they come. Come on. Hey. Here they are. There's Pip there. Look. Come on, Pip. There they are. Those are our hens. We've got nine hens and a cockerel. And they lay loads and loads of eggs. So great to see them. Now we're going to see the Scruffy TV Theatre for the first time. Are you ready? Here we go. Whoa, here it comes. Here it comes. Welcome to the Scruffy TV Theatre, everybody. And this is a story that's in the Bible and it's called, we always call it the Good Samaritan, but we're going to call it the Crazy Samaritan. Once upon a time, there was a man and this man was going to Jericho. And let's do the sand. Shuff, 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 shuff. He was on his own. He looked all around. He was a bit nervous because he was a long way from home and he'd heard that this area was known for bandits. So to calm his nerves, he sang a song. I'm on my way, going to Jericho down dodgy lanes. And he was right too, because not further along the road were two bandits. And they laughed meanly. Let's hear that mean laugh. <laughs> and they didn't like Ed Sheeran, so they were in a particularly mean mood. Hey, Greeny, look what we've got. What is it, Red Sea? A new punch bag. And they jumped out and they started to beat up the man. Poof, punch your cushions. Poof, ah, poof, ah, poof, ah. And they beat him up so much that the poor man looked like that. And they took all his clothes and all his money and everything. And they laughed meanly. <laughs> as they left. The poor man was so beaten up, all he did was lie on the ground and groan. Oh! It wasn't long before he heard footsteps. Shuff, 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 shuff. And along came a priest. Oh, oh I'm so holy. Oh, I'm a well-respected man. I'm a good and holy man. I'm loved by everyone. And the poor man lying on the ground said surely he'll see me surely he'll help me he is a priest after all and the footsteps got nearer shuff, shuff, shuff. and the priest looked and he saw and he said oh yucky mucky icky sicky dirty stinky yuck and off he went <gasps> and the poor man just groaned oh not long later there were some more footsteps shuff. And it was a judge. It was a judge this time. He was a very clever man. He worked in the temple. And he said, I'm a well-respected man. I'm a good and clever man. And I'm loved by everybody. <gasps> Surely he'll see me. Surely he'll help me. He is a judge after all. And the footsteps got nearer. But the judge looked and he said, Oh, yucky, mucky, icky, sicky, dirty, stinky, yuck. And he walked right on past, and the poor man groaned. Oh! And it 
wasn't long before he heard more footsteps, but this time it was a Samaritan, a much detested man, a bad and common man and hated by everyone. And the poor man said, oh, I hope he doesn't see me. He will never help me. He's a Samaritan after all. And the footsteps got nearer. And the man was worried. But then he felt these strong arms lifting him up and he saw the Samaritan's face. And the Samaritan said, oh, you poor fella. Oh, you look a bit rough. Come over here, donkey. Donkey, come over here. You sit on him and I'll help you. And they walked along all day long through the desert in the sun until they came to an inn. And they went in the inn. And in the inn there was an innkeeper. And the innkeeper said, welcome, what can I do for you? And the Samaritan said, oh, look, <coughs> I need a room for my poor friend here. I need to look after him. The very next day, while the man was in bed, the Samaritan and the innkeeper were having a chat. Uh, look, here's some money, pal. I'm going to get a doctor for my friend, so I may be a while. Just give him whatever he needs. And when I come back, I'll pay you whatever you say and off he went and that's the story of the crazy Samaritan now if you look over here just over this fence that's where the school is St Stephen's school and twice a week I climb up that ladder there and I do an assembly you can see my words on the top there and when we're doing assemblies, we always talk about the stories of Jesus and the things that Jesus says. And we have this thing, we go, human plan, crazy plan, human plan, crazy plan, human plan, crazy plan. Because all of Jesus' stories, oh, you'd think that they were going to be about one thing, but he always gives a surprise. He always has a crazy plan. I mean, people used to think that you know, God must be really big and really fierce. And we have to be on our best behavior always. Otherwise, God's going to be really angry with us. But Jesus said the crazy plan is that God loves us. And he was going to find all the ways he could to show that God loves us. So we're going to sing this song. If you don't know it, I'm sure you'll be able to pick the words up really soon. It's about love. Love is something if you give it away, give it away, give it away. Love is something if you give it away, you end up having more. It's just like a magic penny, hold it tight and you won't have any. Lend it, spend it, and you'll have so many They all roll over the floor For love is something if you give it away Give it away, give it away Love is something if you give it away You end up having more It's just like a many, a magic penny It's just like a magic penny Hold it tight and you won't have any Lend it, spend it and you'll have so many They all roll over the floor For love is something if you give it away Give it away, give it away Love is something if you give it away You end up having more scruffy guitar playing in the middle of that song. What is Jesus crazy plan? Remember that someone had said to Jesus, who is my neighbor? Who is the neighbor that I have to love? Because Jesus says, love God and love your neighbor as you love yourself. 
So the man says, who is my neighbor? So Jesus was telling a story about that. And this is where we need our faces. So get your faces ready. We're gonna have listening face. We're gonna have surprise face. And we're gonna have cross face, like that. Practice all of those together. Imagine if you were writing something or like a poem or a story, or if you were doing a painting, or if you were doing a play and you're working out a play, or if you were working on someone's birthday surprise and you sort of walk around and you get an idea, oh, that's really good, I'll do that. Or when you're working on it, you think, that's brilliant. I, I, that's how I think Jesus was. When he was walking around, when he was on earth, I reckon he had those ideas. How can I tell people about this crazy plan that God loves them? So in this story, he started telling the story about the man who was beaten up and then a priest came along and everybody listening, listening face. It's brilliant, listening face. And then he said the priest walked by and everybody would have looked surprised. That's amazing. And then he said the judge came along and everybody was said, oh, the judge is sure to help. And they would look, listen like this. And he said, and the judge walked by and they would go, oh, that's amazing. And then Jesus was said, and then a Samaritan, and they hate people, they hated Samaritans in those days. So they all would have gone, oh, a Samaritan, oh, he's never gonna stop. And then Jesus said, actually, he did stop. He did stop and he did help the man. And everyone would have, would have gone, oh, that's a surprise. Oh, but they were angry as well. Jesus said, everybody is your neighbor. There is no one that you shouldn't love. But this is it, that's crazy enough. But this is even crazier than that. Because remember that bit at the end where, where the Samaritan is with the innkeeper and the Samaritan says, look, I'm gonna give you some money. I'm gonna go away to find, to get some help. Whatever you spend, I'll give you that money back when I return. So that innkeeper could have spent anything. He could have asked the man for anything at all and he would have had to have given it to him. Because when God loves, God loves us with all God is. And at Easter, we remember that, that God gave us Jesus to die on the cross so that we know that we can be God's friends, Jesus' friends for always. So remember that. We're going to go into our prayer room now. And, oh, look, here's India. Hello, India. India loved being on scruffy television the other week, didn't you, India? She hasn't stopped talking about it since. Right. Let's go into our prayer room. And remember in that story, the robbers had their fists like this, but the Samaritan had his hands like this. And I reckon that that priest and those judges, they walked past with that man on the ground. I think they had their fists, fists clenched as well. So what I want you to do is to take your hands like this, and I want you to clench them like that that's it brilliant just keep your hands clenched like that sometimes we keep things back from you loving God sometimes we hold on to things because we think you're not interested or we're not very proud of them maybe we said something this week that wasn't kind maybe we did something that we're not that pleased with but we thank you that you give us all the love of your heart and that you are bigger than anything that we can hold on to and that we can feel safe. So just start to open your hands. <gasps> a bit creaky. So we offer you all our lives, our family, our friends and all that we are. And we ask you to take these hands and may we look for ways to help and to love everyone, just like the crazy Samaritan. And we offer you our safety. And we thank you for all the people who are helping us, the health carers, people who are producing food and selling it to us, people who are educating at school and at home. We thank you for our councils and the government and for the police and ambulance drivers and the fire service and the armed services. And we thank you for our communication. Thank you for the internet, for our phones to keep us in touch and for videos so we can see the people that we miss. We thank you for postal workers and parcel deliverers. Loving Jesus, thank you for all you give us. 
And we offer you as well those people we know who are sad or lonely, the people that we miss, the people on their own, people in care homes and their families. And just have a, a moment to think about anybody you know who's sick at the moment or is particularly sad. And we remember those people who have had their loved ones die recently. Pray for Amanda and Caroline, whose mum, who was very old, died. And we offer you our world, loving God, and we pray that you will help us all to look after our planet. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for loving me and for loving us all. And now we're going to go to the prayer that Jesus taught us. And we're going to pray together. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for the kingdom the power and the glory are yours now and forever amen I'm gonna have to stand up again oh my creaky knees right and we're gonna go back and sing our final song now let's see if India's still here is she yeah she is hey India you going to come and sing with us you're going to come and sing the song. She is. Come on in. Oh, India's only just scruffy enough to be in Scruffy Church TV. Right. Let's sing our final song together. Now, I thought I, I couldn't really decide what we were going to sing. So we're going to sing two or maybe three songs. We're going to sing... Jesus' love is very wonderful. So we're going to get a hum like this. So high, you can't get over it. So low, you can't get under it. So wide, you can't get round it. Oh, wonderful love. I won't be able to do the actions while I'm playing. I'll do it with my head. So you join in with me. So get your arms all ready. Oh, just be like the workout. Are you ready? Jesus' love is very wonderful. like a magic penny hold it tight and you won't have any lend it spend it and you'll have so many they all roll over the floor for love is something if you give it away give it away give it away love is something if you give it away you end up having more Jesus' love is very wonderful. Jesus' love is very wonderful. Jesus' love is very wonderful. Oh, wonderful. Stretching up into the sky. So high, you can't get over it. So low, you can't get under it. So wide, you can't get round it. Oh, wonderful love. Well, Song, everybody. Don't forget, if you want to shout out on Scruffy Church TV or if you want to tell us what you think of Scruffy Church TV, here is the address to write to. It's scruffy at stephensbath.org.uk and that's our website there, stephensbath.org.uk.
www.bath.uk where you can find out more about all the things that we're doing here in Bath. And it's been wonderful to share this with you. A couple of people have written and said, please can we see those puppets again? Aid and Grandpa. Well, next week, they're going to tell us another one of Jesus' crazy plan stories. So hopefully we'll see you then. Have a really, really good week. And let's see your hand like that. Feel your hands being warmed by God's love and God's blessing. Loving God, bless all people watching Scruffy TV and all people in the world and bless our hearts and our homes. Amen. Great to be with you. See you soon on Scruffy Church TV.